Hi, it's David Temper from Countryways Gun Dogs. This is my second run at the English Springer Spaniel Championship 2023 with a little bit called Phil Trials Champion Sedgwood Poppy of Countryways. This is me coming on now, just about to start my run. Now, we are on our own. The other side is now finished, so this is the third day and there's only 10 dogs left to run. We came into this little gully um, and as you can see it looks quite low but actually it's almost like little raspberry bushes so it's quite tight there's been a lot of game in here and the dogs or should I say the game has run through this so there was a lot of scent so we have to keep checking the ground and the little dog she's one of those that she never really lifts her head so She's a pleasure to watch and she'll read every little tiny bit of ground for you so she tells you when there's a bird about and um, she will always caught her nicely in front of you. But as you can see she is putting in quite a nice pace here and she's hunting well. Like I said it's an unusual piece of ground and in the distance you can see some silver birch. Well we're starting to hunt up to this silver birch and Beyond the silver birch is a little fence, and you're just a little bit worried at times, thinking, well, if you flush the bird, will it go straight across the fence? Or will we be lucky to, when we hunt up to the fence, you'll find a bird? So you've just got to keep in your mind what's coming on in the distance, so you can keep in touch with the ground and try and work the ground properly. But the main thing here is to cover your ground. Make sure you don't um, miss a bird. It's very easy to miss a bird in this type of ground because... Uh, there's lots of scent and oh, up, up the bird. so she finds a bird and she sits steadily to flush then she's sent straight out lucky for me the bird has fallen just this side of the fence actually so out she goes picks a bird comes back lovely and gives me a great lovely delivery here actually and then we pass it to the judges where they um they check the bird over, um, they have to check it, make sure there's nothing wrong with the bird. And even though it was shot quite close, but you still check. We don't really want any wounded birds here, so the guns are shooting extremely well. They're all backing each other up all the time, because we don't really want to have any wounded game. So it makes it a lot easier for everybody. And then I'm asked to carry on. And now at this stage, the dog now goes into overdrive, and she's going extremely well now, or for me anyway. Um, she's going flat out and I'm enjoying it now. Now I start to work up towards this little fence thinking well there possibly might be a bird up against the fence but there was nothing in the corner so we're now going to turn right-handed. So I'm asked to go right-handed, change everything. Now you could say the wind is changing but this dog is working on ground scent and there's a lot of scent on the ground so we're really trying to work her and just make sure she covers all the ground. Now the cover gets a little bit thicker and she's doing it. This little bitch actually likes heavy, heavy cover. She won both her open stakes in really, really heavy cover. Even though she looks like a little sweet grass dog, but actually she loves cover. Now if she comes up through here, we're going to hunt up through and she's still going. She's flat out actually. She's looking really good for me for when actually when I was looking down at her. She was, she was going well. Now I've known I have a bird already, so I'm just starting to enjoy it maybe find another bird and then I know my run might possibly be over whereas the other run I had was 35 minutes and you know you can you never know what's going to happen in this game you know you just about luck of finding game in the right place at the right time and hoping the guns will shoot it and land where you can get a decent retrieve now we turn this corner and she's just going flat out now so she doing, finds another bird bang shot lovely actually gun killed it well and then the dog is asked to retrieve and she will now go straight out and straight back that's exactly what you want you don't want any handling you really would like her to mark it straight away so she stopped to flush straight out to the retrieve and back gives me a lovely delivery and actually that's going to be the end of my championship i've now managed to finish two runs and then we're now going to um, 
they're going to make an adjudication and make a decision of what they're going to do and I eventually come away with a diploma of merit. You can actually hear Andrea in the background laughing because how short the run was. But um, we would like to thank everybody that was involved for putting on such an interesting championship and uh, it was a pleasure to run in it. So thanks to all the keepers and to the, uh, the keeper, the host, and everybody looked after the ground, and to the Kennel Club for putting on such a good championship. Thank you.